Ask your teacher how to study for the test. Most teachers will give you specific suggestions on how to study for their tests or what material to study. This is helpful because this allows you to spend less time studying things that you might not be tested on. Don't procrastinate. We all know this one, and though it can be very hard, it is very important. When we procrastinate, we are forcing ourselves to learn stuff way too fast. Procrastinating usually leads to staying up late the night before the test, and we all know that if you don't get good sleep, your test grade will suffer as well. Arriving 15 minutes early can ensure any questions you have can be answered before the test is starting. Prepare an outline. Having an outline will allow you to make sure you are studying all the major topics in that section. It ensures nothing is left out and can be used to mark areas or topics in which you are studying. Making sure you are organized before your test is vital in your success on that test. Get plenty of sleep. If you are not making sure you are getting enough sleep in general and specifically a few days before the test, it won't matter how much you studied or think you remember if you don't get enough sleep. Do it again. Studying with a group can be very beneficial when studying for your test. This is because the group might know things that you do not. Look over the test before you begin. By doing this, you can easily identify which areas you are more confident in that will take less time. Do the sections you know how to do first and spend your remaining time in areas that may be harder or you don't know as well. Using visuals while studying can be helpful when you are tired of reading the textbook over and over again. Don't freak out if you get stuck. When taking your exam, if you come across a question that is taking more time than the others, skip it and continue with the ones that you know, then come back to it after. This is important because you want to answer as many questions as you know first to ensure that you get those points. We hope these tips help you feel more prepared for your next test. Check out our podcast, Talks with Talent Search, for more tips.